Hi guys, it's me again and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna give you a short review or um, some ideas regarding what knobs or what buttons am I using in this ultrasound machine. By the way, this is Siemens Appleson. Okay, so this is the whole machine. This is how it looks like. Okay, we have the probes here we have like four probes we have the gel with the uh, attached thermal so that it will be warm and we also have here our probe covers okay and also the gloves and the tissue at the back first i'm gonna show you how it works so if there's any patient um, you just need to select this patient and this will this will show you need to refresh uh, I don't have patient at the moment so there is no details there there is no patient uh, details here on this side but usually patient name patient ID Procedure, date and time, accession number will come in this area. So you just need to select the correct patient. But before that, you need to ask the patient uh, itself. You need to ask the complete name and the date of birth. Okay, so that uh, you can uh, verify if you have the right patient. So sometimes uh, you need to do it manually. So the important things to be included here on the patient details, of course, is the last name, the first name of the patient, the date of birth, sorry, the patient ID of the patient. Just make sure that you have typed the correct patient ID. Otherwise, the images will go to other uh, patient. It will be mixed up. You need to input also the date of birth, the gender, and here on the exam you need to select which type of exam you're gonna do okay so there is abdomen carotid thyroid and so on and so forth so that those are the important things uh, should be typed and also for the ob patient for the pregnancy patient you need to select ob and you need to also input the first day of last menstrual period of the patient okay so it will be automatically compute the estimated date of delivery then after that you need to just click start study so let's assume that i already had started my patient so here you need to select the probe that you're gonna be using we have here the transvaginal ultrasound, uh, transvaginal probe, the linear probe, and the curvilinear probe. So here, I selected the TVS, the tra transvaginal, uh, uh, the transvaginal probe. You have here the gynae. You can select here. Then for the linear probe, also we have for the thyroid, breast, MSK. So mostly for the small body parts same as this one uh, okay same as this and for the curvilinear we have the general ultrasound and also we have here gynae and ob okay so let's assume that we're going to do abdomen ultrasound okay so first we need to put the gel on the probe Okay, so this is the curvilinear. I will show you. So this is the curvilinear probe. This is uh, used in uh, abdomen, in some general uh, ultrasound examinations. You can also use this in pelvic ultrasound, KUB ultrasound, uh, pregnancy ultrasound. So first we need to put some gel. Okay. So this is how it looks like. So we don't have uh, anatomical structure because we don't uh, we don't have a test patient at the moment. 
So I'm just gonna show you how the nobology works. I usually use um, color, the color button, the 2D button, the pulse wave, the caliper, the annotation, image, this is video, the depth, the dual, zoom, freeze, delete, and the time gain, uh, time gain uh, compensation. And the, and the time gain compensation, the TGC. Okay, so first, we need to scan the patient. And, of course, like, for example, we already scan uh, the anatomical structure. For example, you need to f select freeze. Okay, then it will be automatically freeze the image. And you need to add annotation. So, you need to just click this ABC button. And here it goes. So, all anatomical uh, structures or name will be here. So, we have here the uh, right, left, if it's sagittal or transverse. So, all is in here. So, we can also uh, do it manual typing. We have a keyboard here. Okay. Then, okay. Then, if you want to scan again, you need to click unfreeze. Click freeze again to unfreeze the, the image. So, now, like, uh, for example, we need to measure something. Like, for example, we have the liver. Let's freeze again. Okay, so the image is freezed now. Then we need to uh, put the annotation. Like for example, we choose liver. Okay, so liver. Then we need to, also, of course, measure the liver. Select caliper. So the this will appear. Then just move it by the trackball. This is our trackball. So move it and select this okay and then just move again the trackball and select again okay now we got our measurement here it's 12.44 centimeter but this is just a model we don't have the liver and if we don't want this uh, measurement we can also delete that measurement we can also delete that annotation just make sure that it was uh, it has light like for example you need to delete the caliper you need to uh, remeasure it again so just uh, select caliper and press delete so now I will press delete one more okay so it was deleted already then I need to change the uh, annotation so you can select and delete again and select from here which annotation you want to do. put, like for example, kidney. Okay, so we're done with it. Next is, uh, for example, we will get the uh, color of the CBD and the common bile duct. So again, freeze the image. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, we need to put the color. We need to press the color. Okay. Now, let me show you uh, how the depth is working. What I did is, I, I did a video. So, I just need to show it to you. So, I used the depth so here you can see it's adjusting it's like a zoom in zoom out okay here's another one so by the way that's my liver and that's my right kidney here Let's see so that is how depth is working so let's get back to imaging Okay, 
Again, I will show you how to measure the lever. I think it's better to show you how to measure the lever. Just, I just need to again to scan my lever and take a photo, and uh, I will show you the how, and I will show you how to measure it. Okay. Okay. So this is my lever now. So what we need to do is to measure it. So just press caliper distance and we will measure from right lobe uh, right lobe to left lobe okay so my liver size is 12 centimeter so next will be the dual let's uh, use this dual dual means you will be having two uh, two images it's like here usually we're doing this for the urinary bladder for the ovaries sometimes for the uh, spli uh, hepatorenal and the splenorenal just to see the echogenicity of uh, the, sp the spleen and the liver so let's start so first, we need to scan, for example, this is my right kidney. Okay, I just freeze and again scroll. Oh, where is my image? Wait, let's do it again. Again. So this is my right kidney. So this is the hepatorenal. Okay. And let's just take a good because I cannot uh, use my two hands to freeze and unfreeze. Mm, I can find a good image. But I had it earlier. And repeat. Okay. Okay, so this is the hepatorenal, the liver and the right kidney together. Then we just need to press update so that it will, the next image will uh, go to the next box. Let's put again some gel. Sorry, I don't have a good image of my spleen and my left kidney, but this is how it goes. So, you need to put here, hepatorenal, hepato, renal, okay, and spleenorenal. Hmm, my spelling is not correct. Anyways, so... This, that is how dual button works. Then, if you want this image to be saved, just press this uh, button, this image. If you want a clip, video clip, you just need to press the clip. I think it will just take uh, how many seconds? Let's check. I think it will just take few seconds. Okay, so now we okay, so now we we will use again the dual for my urinary bladder. Let's let's delete the, the annotations. So let me prepare myself. So I hope I will. Uh, so I hope I am full bladder, or at least I have something. Yes, here this is the bladder. Okay, so let me just take this, okay, freeze again, I need to scroll, I think I should have a tripod, <laughs> at least to 
work with both hands. Where is it? I already freeze the image. And again, you just need to select update. I will select update so that the next box will be available for scanning. Then again, I need to scan. Okay. I will try. Yes. Okay. So, this is my UB, my urinary bladder. So, now we need to measure the volume, the amount of the urine inside. So, here we need again to select the caliper. And here we need to change from distance to volume. Okay. Select volume. And just need to here 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 so this is the volume of my urine in the bladder it's 65.48 centimeter I mean cubic meter sorry okay so again put the annotation here you can uh, no wait Oh, no. So you need to type here free void. Okay, here. Okay. Then what else do I need to show you? I already showed you the caliper, the annotation. This is the trackball. This is like if you will select, like for example, here. Mm, you need to put the color. Here you can adjust here the box of the color. Okay. Then we have here also the keyboard. So you can type here manually also. Now let me wipe myself first because I am full of gel. Give me one minute. Uh, again, if you want to if you want to return from uh, one screen, you can just select 2D. And, tada! And also from the color, if you want to remove the color, you just press the 2D also. Okay.